What is up everybody? Welcome back to Crawl TV. I was just standing here at my computer in my tiny house and I was looking through footage that I have for Crawl TV and I realized something. Before I can start making new videos and sharing what I'm doing on the Jeep, I really have to back up through the full year that I took off from making videos so that I could build this tiny house and start from there. So there's a lot that has happened in the last year, a lot on the Jeep, a lot of events that I've attended, a lot of trips that I've been on. And um, I took a lot of video through all that and I just never sat down on a computer and edited, edited all of it into a video. So I really have to go back to the day that I stopped making videos. And right now I'm gearing up to go to Trail Hero out in St. George, Utah. But a year ago today, I was gearing up to go to Trail to SEMA 2019 with Power Stop Brakes and a group of awesome YouTubers. It was a trip of a lifetime. This is footage that has never been seen on Crawl TV. And since it's a year late, it really is lost footage that I'm sharing. So really excited to get it out to you guys. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy episode one of Trail to SEMA. There are three episodes total. This one starts in Arizona. This is the type of off-roading that I'm actually most used to. It's just this loose, uh, sharp rocks, dry desert. Usually all the trails are in washes because that's just where they're naturally made. So you can start driving up them and then they get even more washed out over time and they become super gnarly. And then you've got people like Marvin Stemmel and his Jeep Spring Jeep face back here, giving it all the whoop hows trying to get up this thing. And um, he's making a lot of noise. He hasn't really gone anywhere yet, but it sounds good. That's what matters. Yeah, but this is um, this is basically like my backyard. We heard it pop. It just was inside the spring and the shock come down and just chopped it right off. Off with the brake line. Off with the brake line. You owe Jeremy a rev kit for fixing your brake line? Yeah. Well, let's take a look at how he fixed it here. <laughs> so, <laughs> he pinched it with vice grips and zip tied it to your bypass. Is it all fixed again, Holly? Oh, it's, it's good as new. It's race ready. This fucker's mint. All right, guys, well, that wraps up uh, Highway to Hell. We are turning the caravan around here because there's a whole lot of hard obstacles up ahead and um, we're running out of time because we have to get back into town to go to Rigid Industries. We're going to do something out there and I'm not kidding you, there are a lot of freaking Jeeps that want to try these obstacles so it just, it just takes, it takes a while. Patience. Lots of patience. Patience.
mean, you were every bit of 50 mile an hour through there. Yeah, that was, thing actually works almost better with the LS in it. I'm it's good. It's real good. Jack up, yeah. but as long as I kept it doing what it did and didn't upset the chassis with the engine, I was fine. Yeah. The next part of our trip was to stop at Rigid Industries in Arizona. Rigid was the official light sponsor of Trail to SEMA 2019. I was invited on this trip as Crawl TV, but I had just started a job at Baja Designs. I'd been working there for about a week at this point, and so I felt that it wouldn't be right for me to film a lot of this part, so we got right through this part. And then after this, we hit the road to Big Bear, which is where we'll pick up. Thank you, wearing Baja Designs. Oh, sorry, I'm holding the camera wrong. Just it's one. okay, all my angles are hurting. <laughs> Next step. Well, happy freaking Saturday. We're out here in Big Bear, California now. It's day three of Trail to SEMA. Um, everybody's getting ready to roll out. We have made it from Arizona to Big Bear, California. So we went from low, dry, desert, loose, sharp rocks to higher altitude. We have trees now. Everybody's getting unloaded right now and then we're gonna hit the trail. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. And everybody stay off the roads today. <laughs> Kevin Williams working on his own vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> well, this you sucks. All right, guys, we made it to the trailhead. We are at Gold Fever leading to John Bull. This is day three of Trail to SEMA. So far, we've done Arizona and a lot of road miles to get from where we were outside of Phoenix all the way up to Big Bear, California. Everybody's airing down right now. We have a lot of Jeeps. I didn't realize it until we got them all in one place just now. Everything's off the trailer. Everybody's lined up and airing down. There are a lot of Jeeps. And then, of course, one Polaris Razor out here. So. Um, we definitely have a full crowd. We're going to try and get through everything that we have planned for today. Get all these Jeeps through without breaking. It should be a pretty good day. Let's hit the trails and see what we got in store for us today. All right, guys. So this is the gatekeeper at John Bull Trail. We're walking up it right now just so that everybody can get a look at it. Um, and we should be heading up this pretty soon. Hey, hey Jared, I, I literally just said that. Well, well that's how I got said. that information. <laughs> like, where do you think I learned that? <laughs> So Kevin says this is the gatekeeper at John Bull, and everybody's uh, picking their lines here. So I'll turn it around and show you guys what this looks like. Johnson is demonstrating how to put a U joint cap back in place. You need something to back it. Yep. Um, oh. A much larger hammer. <laughs> or a big C clamp. Um, you know what? Let's just do this. Um, you need to remove it. Yeah. Get like a 960. Anybody? Yeah, I'll grab them for you. Thank you. If you need it. I got one of the extreme games. Ooh, that doesn't look good. There is no trail fix. Because it's actually <laughs> broke the yeah. know, so you can't put a clip in. slip. Uh, where's unless Walt? You have a, unless you have an onboard onboard welder. Right? <laughs> yeah, I don't have that. Um, did Walt? Who's carrying? Anybody carrying extra dry shaft? 
dirty. Well, 1350. Bleeping Jeep is. Is he? Yeah. Walt said he had one, but I think he might be 1410, isn't he? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's got a date of 80. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what direction is it? Uh, it's just 1350. I just need a slip. If I have a slip, I'd be fine. I got one literally at the truck. All right, hey, give me a little bit, driver. All right, that's enough. Come on, ease up a little bit. And then as we come up, I want you to go passenger. Yep, 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 yep. Stay in it, stay in it. All right, all right, harder passenger, harder passenger, harder passenger. All right, there you go. Yep, come on. Turn it up. Yep, there you go. Make sure you make sure you Nice work, man. Driving, bro. Excellent. You got a good job. Great dude. fucking line, man. Awesome. Gary, prepared. Doesn't help when you can't see the line beforehand. No, I'm yeah. Great guy. I have no idea what's happening down here, but I have faith in you. The drive shaft slip broke, so the clip came out. U joint cap backed out. Pins got crazy. Took it out, reset the pins, put the U-joint caps back in, and there was no way to put a clip back in the end, so they put a washer with some zip ties around it, and now they are duct taping around it to hold the zip ties in place. Yeah, really taping. This is fine. This is totally fine. All right. Race car! What's that saying? I don't care if it's duct, tape, duct tape and zip ties. It'll get me home. Fixed is fixed. Fixed is fixed. It's that elusive problem. It was supposed to be tight, it was loose, so I ducked it. If I can't duck it, you get about it. All right. So Ian. Yo. So you took my 916, my knife, my Gorilla Tape, my 18. No, I gave you back all of it. I know. <laughs> but for borrowing it, how many rev kits is that? You're lucky you gave it back to you. <laughs> is, that what it is? is that what it is? There you go. Here, here. You here. He's like, you go it. buy yourself something oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Don't spend it all in one place. Stone. <sighs> A little bit harder to hike at altitude. Yeah. Tiffany Stone blew a bead. Uh huh. Ian Johnson blew a U joint cap. Uh huh. And now we're back on the trail, and we're gonna try and get out of here before it's pitch black, dark, and cold. It's not that late yet. It's only four o'clock. Once we get on the other side of the mountain, it'll be sunny. Oh, we got nothing to worry about. Onward and upward. Always. What up, dude? What up, dude? I think Matt's just trying to have fun now. <laughs> Morning, internet today is day four of trail to SEMA and we started our day with fixing a brake line on Holly's mischief maker JKU go check out her YouTube channel it's called mischief maker TV on YouTube she is so dedicated to going live on Instagram I watch all of her videos but now she is branching off into the YouTube world yeah so this morning we are getting everything fixed up Ian Johnson is fixing his uh, rear slip on his 1350 drive shaft everybody else is gassing up Sleeping Jeep is out here. Nothing to fix on the almost stock XJ because that thing's running perfectly. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're getting ready to roll out. So today is our last day in Big Bear and then we are heading out to Johnson Valley. So it's gonna be a huge change in climate once again and it's gonna be less luxury. We're not gonna be sleeping in hotels. We're gonna be glamping in uh, Johnson Valley. So stay tuned, let's get out of here and hit some trails. And I'll try and not earthquake this crap too much again. Oh, there's another earthquake. California's falling down. Oh boy. I mean, Somebody's working on their Jeep out here. I'll let you figure out who this is based off of the shoes. Oh my gosh. Wrenching shoes. These are wrenching shoes. Wrenching shoes. Wrenching shoes. Wrenching shoes. It's the it's the cross. They're weightlifting shoes. Holly <laughs> <laughs> oh, could not stop laughing at weightlifting shoes. <laughs> yeah, going back to the weightlifting, he was like sandwich making shoes, Sandwich <laughs> shoes, weightlifting shoes, Jeep making shoes, driving shoes, skiing shoes, weightlifting shoes. <laughs> <laughs> ben, what are you fixing under here? I'm uh, just changing the control arm joint. Oh, no big deal. But right now, I lost my nut. Oh, that's, uh -oh. That's, a that's a good a day in most cases. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, so didn't you just put these Johnny hey, joints in? Have, yeah, it's too close to my exhaust. Be careful. So let me show you. 
is close to my exhaust, you figure out the rest. Uh oh. <laughs> Melted it. <laughs> Melted Johnny down to nothing. They didn't have anything to do and this is an speed. offset Johnny Johnny. Look at this. To the no. no, nothing yeah. at all. On the road in the desert. So just conveniently you brought extras. Uh, yeah, I always do. So you're gonna build a heat shield around it then? Huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. I put a Heim in. So. Oh. Heim. 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 Heim in. Or a screwdriver? See, more baby Put a Heim in. We need baby hands. Uh, the solution to all these problems. You need a screwdriver? Yeah, because... Yeah, I see it. I just... I got a pinky. Big. Your pinky? Big? I'm a pinky big. Well, it needs like a tiny, <laughs> tiny pinky person. Here's something you don't see every day. If you guys watch uh, Nate from Dirt Lifestyle, you'll know that his TJ is a little bit unique because it has dun 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 Volkswagen diesel engine under it. You'll see in the video he rolls coal a couple times. Pretty awesome that he's uh, done that swap with the NV3550 behind it, Atlas behind that, all the adapters done. What's up, roommate? What up, dude? Just showing off your Volkswagen powered Jeep here. Oh, yeah. Genuine high emissions Volkswagen right here. Heck yeah. You got a five gallon fuel tank? Five gallon. It's all, uh, it's it's all, she, all she, needs. she craves. She runs mostly on uh, Hope Streams and Unicorn Farts, so she doesn't use a lot of diesel. <laughs> It's pretty cool to see you rolling coal up the trail, though. I don't know. You'd think that it would be using tons of fuel with the amount of coal that it rolls, but it actually still just barely sipping. I don't know. <laughs> yep. So, yeah. If you guys, uh, I'm sure you recognize him, but this is Dirt Lifestyle Nate. Go check out his channel. He's a good guy. Good roommate. Clean, quiet, considerate. Doesn't fart. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, here we go. Welcome to day 3.5 of Trail to SEMA, or four if you count the roll days of road day as a full day. We are at Big Bear once again, and this is Holcomb Creek, the hardest trail in Big Bear. Is everybody ready? Ready. Oh, you don't sound ready. <laughs> Woo! Rev kit sounds ready. <laughs> Woo! Party! Right. How come he's the only one that's ready? Status update, broken TJ. He was doing really well, doing burnouts on rocks, and then it stopped working. So. Um, we've got like perfect, perfect like stadium seating here. Everybody's had lunch. And now we are getting it clear of the trail. And then Chris and Nate are gonna go get replacement parts or computers. You got it, boss. All right, so that's all for now. I hopped into Jeeps or McJeep Face with my buddy Marvin here. And we're heading out the end of the trail now. Um, dirt, lifestyle, Nate's Come Jeep on, is still broken back there. So some of the guys already went ahead to get parts and Make computers and stuff. But we're at an obstacle now where I think we got to like really goose it to get out of here. So I'm going to flip the camera around and we'll give you a first hand perspective of what it's like to ride in hey, the Jeeps or McJeep Face. Let's see what happens. We got a heavy. We'll be all right. Here's Kevin. Oh, he's definitely doing it two wheel drive. Well, leaving Matt here, one pull going backwards for one rev kit. I have seen that so many times. After I just blew out my uh, brand new act or gears going backwards of it. So, it's a tough guy. Here he comes now. Come collect your rev kit. <laughs> Unfortunately, wraps it up for this video. There was an accident on the trail and we actually had to go to a ranger station and get that all worked out first before we could leave Big Bear and head out to Johnson Valley. The Jeep I was riding in, not at the time, but the Jeep that I went out to ride in, got in a front end collision. So we had to get that taken care of. 
And then we were out of there. So we left Big Bear and went straight to Johnson Valley, which is where video two will pick up. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you on episode two of the Trail to SEMA series, The Lost Footage on Crawl TV.